to my kitchen. Y'all, it is dinner time. And today, we are making pork chops. And I'm gonna start by, I want this grease to start getting hot while I am running my mouth. I'm gonna turn my front burner on about medium, medium high. I'm gonna use some Crisco. Today, as opposed to baking grease, but we're gonna fix some pan fried pork chops and I am fixing them just like my mama used to fix them. Not only are we pan frying them, honey, we frying them in a cast iron skillet, okay? What I usually like to do is take my pork chops, of course, and get them all washed up and I have them sitting on some um, paper towels, make sure that they're really dry, okay? And then what I usually do with the paper towels is the wrapper and everything that the pork chops came in, I'm just putting all of this in this bag, all right? So I can discard it. Right now I'm trying to touch the edge of this paper towel where there is no pork chop juice or water okay and I'm just getting my pork chops laid out on my little platter here we do like the pork chops with the bone in and they are about half inch thick you guys you see how dry they are and I don't use a mallet but I do like to just run a fork through them to me that helps the grease kind of seep up inside of them and that way they will quick quick they will cook quicker okay because that hot grease is getting on the inside of them all right really easy recipe okay and you guys when i was using the um get rid of that pork when i was using the paper towels to pat it dry. I was making sure that my fingers stayed dry so none of that juice would get on my fingers, okay? So that's why I'm not getting ready to wash them again. But they have been thoroughly washed. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty, okay? My mom used onion powder, real easy. Garlic powder, y'all already know. Seasoned salt, not just any, but Lowry seasoned salt. A little bit of paprika. And then also just some black pepper. Just that simple. And then we have a little bit of all-purpose flour. I'm going to dip them in the flour and then we're going to get them all fried up. As it pertains to my seasonings, you guys, I don't measure. I just... Just season, okay? Don't be afraid to season. Of course, don't overdo that salt, but just sprinkle seasoning on both sides. Starting with seasoning salt, and I'm just gonna sprinkle. Of course, don't overdo it with the salt. You don't want them too salty. You want to see the salt. Now we're going in with onion powder. Both sides. Next we have garlic powder. You guys, this is easy peasy. Don't make it difficult. And you see I'm pretty generous with my onion powder and garlic powder. Then next we have paprika. And 
And then last, <clears throat> excuse me, but not least, going in with the black, ground black pepper, okay? And once I get the season, I like to rub it in. too if you can season your meat ahead of time and let it just sit for a little bit that's always good and if you're kind of marinating it and you have it in the refrigerator make sure when you take it out of the refrigerator that you let it come to room temperature before you start um, frying it okay and I just get it in the flour a couple of times flip it over Just like this. Like I said, don't make it hard, okay? And it looks like with my frying pan, um, so I don't want to overcrowd my pan. I'm just going to cook two at a time. And you guys, I have just enough grease in here where it's kind of coming up the sides a little bit. just going to take our pork chop, shake it a little bit, and put it in the grease. Always lay it away from you, okay? Because that grease will pop on you. Again, my grease, my um, temperature is set on, the number is on five and a half, and we're going to cook these each side probably about three or four minutes. All right, it's been three minutes, and we are flipping. Look how pretty and golden brown that is. Okay, these two are coming out. We're going to add the last two. Now, for the most part, I'm okay with my oil. I could use a little bit more. And at times, when I do need to add some more oil, and you guys are over washing my hands since I touched that meat. But when I do need to add oil, I'll just simply get a little bit more and just add it while, they're, while the meat is cooking. Just that simple, okay? So if you feel like you need to add you a little bit more oil, if you're cooking more than one batch, just add a little bit more while it's cooking. Now we're taking out these last that pretty pork chop you guys it is just that simple to fry pork chops and what I want to do is let them rest a little bit before we cut into them now ordinarily if I were going to make some gravy, I would pour off just a little bit of that grease, just a little bit, and all that pork chop goodness that's left in there, we would make a wonderful gravy. But today's menu doesn't call for a gravy. Mm. Okay, nothing like a little piece of pork chop, fried pork chop, or some fried chicken, honey. Mm. 
Well, you guys, it's dinner time. So we're gonna fix up these plates so we can eat. I told you every now and again, you know, we don't wanna do baked. We wanna do some, some fried, pan fried pork chop. Let's get your salad together. Yes. You hungry, babe? Yes, I'm real hungry. You always real hungry. Well, all right, you guys. These pretty pork chop. that's close to the bone uh, with some of the fat on it. See, he don't like to be. He will pull every little piece of fat off of here. Let's eat the fat. It's tender and good and juicy. Who oh, eat that? Why would you eat I that? I do. Because it be a little bit of meat on it sometimes. It's, it's, like, it's like eating grapes. Y'all, we get ready to eat. You good, babe? Yep, I'm good. Why, wait a minute, what you doing with the cheese? They're going to sell it. Let's try some more. Okay. Well, you may not get that much of it. Anywho, y'all, we ready to eat. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. You guys hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we're doing something over here, be it cooking, baking, vlogging, whatever we're doing. You all right, baby? Hit the nosy! That nosy! Thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time.